This just came in and I purchased it for a computer I have. It's not in any way, shape or form a high end speaker. It is a USB powered 3.5 millimeter uh, audio connection speaker. And this is gonna be a look at because on the website, Amazon page, I cannot tell how it looked, how much space it took. I just, you know, they, there's only so much the pictures can tell you on the website. Sometimes you physically need to see it. So that's why I do the, a lot of these videos, just so that someone feels like they're holding it in their own hand. I'll be taking measurements as to how much of a footprint it'll take up. Cause that was my most important thing. It looks like it'll fit. Do I need it to fit under the TV? So I'll probably have, I think three or four inches under the TV. I didn't want the button to be really difficult to get to. I want my wife to be able to lower and raise the volume as much as she wants. So I looked at this speaker and I thought it was a great price. I think it was also on special. So we're doing a look at unboxing. Pretty easy to set up. It is not a high end. As long as I can hear it, that's all that matters. And uh, we'll be doing Zoom calls with it. And... Uh, FaceTime calls on a Mac. It'll be installed on a Mac. It should work on anything that has a 3.5 connection for audio. And it's cute. Nothing else. Very simple idea. I'm replacing a Logitech speaker I purchased a while back. That worked just fine. And it's, I think that speaker itself you know, I come from a day of uh, vinyl records, way before CDs, cassette tapes, where just to be able to tell what the person was saying was good enough. So, audio quality to me, I guess it's not as important. As long as I can hear them, that's all that matters to me. Okay, so that's the actual speaker. It's cute, small. Let's take some measurements, because that's what uh, was important to me. And just in case it's important to you. Uh, about 12 and a half, maybe a little over 12 and a half from left to right, and then from front to back. Uh, two and three quarters, maybe? You tell me. And then We'll do from top to bottom, about two inches. Two inches. So let's do a close up look at the item. So this is the volume now. Yeah, it doesn't have a button on it. I'm assuming this is off, this is on, but we'll find out. Pretty plain speaker, which is fine with me. Odd. I've moved away in the recent years from uh, when it does come to sound quality. Uh, I've been listening to music more without lyrics. It seems to be more soothing. Maybe I'm getting older, so uh, not into the uh, message music or anything like that. I'm just into uh, sort of in the background. Uh, it has an LED light, it looks like. The on and off. 
I don't know why that opening is there. I guess acoustics or something. On and off. So it's a USB powered speaker, as you can see. These are the connections at the end. Like I've said in the past, the two blacks are for stereo. A single black would be mono. Three usually is uh, stereo and and um, mic. So let's measure the cable itself now. Let's measure the cable and set it up. I think you can separate both cables if you want, but that's up to you. You see right there? So you should be able to split them. I'll leave them together until I have to. Uh, I should have done this the other way. It's going to be about four feet, three inches or 51 inches. So let's uh, set it up under the TV. I'm hooking it up to my, what I'm calling my media center. My little Mac Mini. I've used Mac Minis as MIDI centers for a long time. There was this uh, store called CEX uh, from Britain. They moved out of the US probably, I'm gonna say about three or four years ago. Loved, loved that store. And they used to have Mac Minis on special for $90 or $100. And compared to the price of the Apple TV, which I love, I really, really love the Apple TV Media Center. It just works. Their app store is huge now. You have all kinds of options and it plays every single piece of media that I need. Uh, Direct TV being one of them, which a lot of the media centers don't have the capability of doing. So everything works, uh, worked great, but that was $150, $125. If I could get a Mac Mini for one twenty-five, a full, I mean, a hundred dollars, a uh, full Mac Mini, I was going with the Mac Mini. So I bought about three of them, and they have. I've run around with that. I've upgraded it to SSDs when they go on special, and uh, I've used that for many years as my media center. So that's what I'm hooking this up to. This is the actual speaker I'm replacing. And that's cute. It has the LED underneath. That's how it looks. Let me turn off the light. See, this is my Mac mini that I'm hooking it up to. Pretty cool. And I just need basic audio so I can hear it. That's it. Um, I could play through the HDMI to the actual TV itself, but I like uh, full control, so I don't need a remote. I'm gonna be able to come up and turn it on and off. Uh, that's pretty much my my new idea compared to this one that had the same issue. This one just went bad. I don't know, I think it's the cable, I'm not sure. But the sound is too low and you, when you jiggle it, it works. Uh, so the speaker went bad. As for this itself, I'm hoping this works very well and replace uh, this one. So we'll try out, maybe we'll play some of my videos on YouTube so I won't get a copyright strike. Let me turn off the LED so you can see how it looks. This is how it looks set up. It's cute. Maybe I have more than four inches, a lot more than four inches. But I wanted something that I can get underneath real quick and turn on and off the volume with no issues. It's cheap, easy to put together, very amateuristic. So the, the actual device is on. Let me turn off the LED. And there we go. Um, I like... Well, you know why? <laughs> I have an LED uh, computer, LED monitor, and I, you know they 
cute when I first turn them on, but afterwards, I, I just can't deal with all those lights. I like sometimes just dark and just seeing what I'm looking at on TV. Um, I'm not much into looks, just for the actual item to work. That's it. So let's try it out. Dinner. You can see more of the details when you click on the link. It's all the way down or 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 or, or off. <laughs> Need the thick one unless I have a project that requires it. So let's uh, try it out. So sealer. <laughs> It's a Scotch brand. So the computer volume is all the way high and the YouTube volume is all the way high. And so now this controls the volume, how hot, low and high you can go. All the control is, uh, since I put everything on high, now I can control everything with this in the part, in the regards to uh, the, uh, as loud as I can go or as loud as the computer could go, I should say. So let me turn the knob from off to on. You have to wait for the ready light. I'm just raising the okay, volume the light little by on. little. Let's laminate. photo or, or uh, whatever whatever uh, picture or display or whatever you're trying to laminate, it used to peel off after a little while. It wouldn't really stick. These work really well. So they come in. This is the highest. Two, uh, thicknesses. This is the 200 version, eight and a half by 11. I used to get the smaller versions, but now I just get this and I'll just throw a bunch of small ones into this. So I, that way I'm only having one package and I scan it and then I cut it with my cutter. It comes in three millimeter, three, oh, let me see, it says right here. It says thickness. It's a three M thickness or a five M thickness, eight and a half inch. And that's the thickness, the, the five is a thicker version of this and then the three is a thinner version. That's what I purchased. The five is very, very thick, very stiff. The three is more bendable. Okay, this is heavy. Show you on camera, but the thickness is still laminate. So I don't know if you can tell, this is thicker and this is a lot thinner. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye. I like it. I like the sound. For the price, it's definitely a very loud speaker. I can hear it. Um, I've sat in the back in my uh, sofa. I'd say maybe about 10 to 12 feet away and I hear it fine. It fills the room, no issues whatsoever. It is not a high-end speaker, but it does the job that I need it to do. So if you're looking for a regular, cheap, standard, not a bad looking speaker, this is a pretty nice one, I, I would say. Uh, easy to control on and off, especially when you have kids and you need to control that volume, uh, either their volume or while you're doing something and you need to get to them, 
you can switch to on and off volume very quickly. So, uh, okay, this was a look at and a quick sound, um, my sound test <laughs> of the speaker. I hope you liked it. I hope it helps. Thank you. Some info on item. Computer desktop laptop PC computer cheap low price speakers Fission USB powered 3.5 mm interface sound bar, May 15, 2021 cost, $12.71. Purchased on Amazon's website. Easy to use, the computer speaker is USB powered, the sound bar speaker is easy to install. Simply connect the USB to your computer and you can start using it. Spin button more easy to operate. High quality, PC speakers 3 times 2 large dual drive unit, maximum 6 watts output, high quality sound lets you indulge in the sea of music, produces an impressive sound stage and has great sound quality, forget your troubles, relax, and enjoy yourself. Fashion design, Fission soundbar is with unique design. Stylish smooth appearance makes you feel all places get organized. Wide array of compatibilities, works with any device that has a standard 3.5mm headphone jack, such as PCS slash laptops, smartphones, tablets, projectors. Service, what you get is Fission USB powered speaker, quick start guide and our friendly hassle free 18 months replacement plus our lifetime customer service. It makes your purchase absolutely risk-free and pleasant. Product Description Specification Brand Name, Vision Material, Plastic Output Power, 3 watts 2 Channel, 2.0 Frequency Response Range, 25 Hz 20 kHz Separation, Greater than or equal to 40 dB Power Supply USB 5 volts. SNR, greater than or equal to 80 dB. Voltage, 5 volts. Current, 60 ma. USB cable, approximately 50.39 inches, 4.20 feet slash 128 centimeters. Audio cable, 50.39 inches, 4.2 feet, 128 centimeters. Size, approximately 32 times 6.46 cm, 12.6 times 2.36 times 2.52 inch. Net weight, 480 grams, 1.06 pounds. Color, black. Package list. One wired speaker. One user manual. Q, why is there no audio when plugged into my computer? A. If you plug into the front 3.5 mm interface and there is no audio coming out from the speakers, please try the backside 3.5 mm interface and adjust volume. Product Information Product Dimensions 12.6 by 2.52 by 2.36 inches Item Weight 1.05 pounds ASIN B0815ZJ5SV Item Manufacturer Model Number FD0009